Hello, and welcome back to the Bot Spot. Today, we're going to continue our series in the Armor of God with the Breastplate of Righteousness. Now, the Armor of God, of course, is used in a metaphorical way. However, each one of the pieces is a true part of any Christian's life, so we will consider each of these in this series. The second of which is to put on the Breastplate of Righteousness as found in Ephesians chapter 6, verses 13 and 14. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness. So what is righteousness? According to Merriam-Webster, it means acting in accord with divine or moral law free from guilt or sin. That is a life that God would have us live. 1 John chapter 3, verses 7 and 8 read, Little children, let no one deceive you. He who practices righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. He who sins is of the devil, for the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. As Jesus Christ demonstrated true righteousness on the earth, we are to strive to do the same. Now, that's not to say that we can do so perfectly. 1 John chapter 1, verses 8-10 through 10 read, If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make Him a liar, and his word is not in us. But when we do sin, we, as baptized Christians, can pray to God that he can forgive us our sins, and he will do so. After all, this was Jesus' purpose for coming to the earth, and how he destroys the work of the devil. John chapter 3, verses 16 and 17 read, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Those who are righteous live godly lives to the best of their ability, but when they do sin, they are remorseful, pray for forgiveness, and try their best to avoid sin in the future. But if they do again sin, they again can be forgiven. That's not to say our lives are one of failure, they are lives of growth. So we can grow closer and closer to God and Christ, and when the time comes and our lives are over, it is through our righteousness and faith that we will hear those words, well done. Speaking of, that faith will be the fourth in our series on the armor of God. Thank you for your attention.